You know, it's funny watching what people are willing to accept for your safety. Now, of course, this is uh, this is in Australia, right? For people who are in the camps, this is like a different portion of the camp uh, where people have, I guess, a little bit more movement. And so, from what I understand from the video, these people are, are only allowed to leave their little room that they have to go on the little balcony with the chair and of course if they have to wash their clothing that's funny we're going to watch this and you're going to hear a lot of phrases like count how many times the person says count how many appeals to authority that you see in this situation and of course collectivism and as well as you know health and safety in this video is a two minute video and you're going to watch this person is being uh reprimanded for I guess speaking to somebody on the side, but take a look. So, so what's to do. what's the guy? So this I'm gonna give you a warning, yeah. It's an official warning that you have to stand above and obey the rules while you get, yeah. And that's we have to go to the rules again. I don't care. So am I allowed to go to the laundry? You're allowed to go to the laundry, but you got to wear a mask, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you definitely can't go up the fence anywhere else. But you're allowed to go to the laundry, yeah. That's always been the case, yeah. Right. So if I was sitting just here, which is right near the fence. Why are these guys in a cabin that's right near the fence? It makes no sense, does it? Yeah, but you can't leave your balcony to go to the fence to talk to somebody else. That's what's obvious, yeah? So if I was at that balcony... Have to make sense. So there's, we always, there has to be lines everywhere drawn, yeah? And one of the lines is you cannot leave your balcony and you cannot go to someone else. Where it makes no sense or it doesn't seem right to you, that is the line and that's what the law is, yeah? And that's how it goes, yeah? This is my favorite part there. And <laughs> she's like, this makes absolutely no sense. And then you see her trying to appeal to him. Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, use use your head. Like, what you're doing and what you're saying makes absolutely no sense. And he's like, it doesn't matter. These are the rules. Is it the law? It's not the law. It's a Cho directive. What's a, what's a Cho directive? Is that, is that the law? Is that the same thing? Does it have the same weight? And people just go right ahead and follow. The law. What well, a Cho direction. There's a law that says Cho that. direction, yep. There's a Cho direction, yeah. And how the behavior must be done, especially in this area, because it's much more highly infectious and likely to have infected people, yeah. Highly infected. Did you see what he says there? With people who have likely, let me see, he says highly infectious and likely to have been, to have infected people here. Likely, right? He says, of course, you know, this is what they tell them. This is what they tell you. These people are likely to be infected. This is a highly infectious area. You need to wear all this PPE to keep you safe, right? And this is what they tell, this is what the higher ups tell them. And this is what they tell you. This is what you got to look forward to for a lot of people. It's never going to come to America. All right. People of Australia thought the same thing. People of Australia thought the same thing. Like, their government's never going to, government's not going to lock us in trailers and tell us we can't move and force us to sit here for a week or two or three until they feel like letting us out. But there they are. People, yeah. Highly infectious when all of us people are negative. So, so far, the risk is still very high, yeah? yeah. Mm. Just while you're here, can we just do that? Otherwise, the next time it's a $5,000 fine. We don't want to do that. It's a $5,000 fine, $5, fine if what? If, if you breach again. If, if I walk out onto that path. Without your mask on, for no reason, other than the laundry. If I cross that yellow line, saying that you've broken the rule, that I've broken the rule, I will be issued with a five thousand dollar fine. That's correct. Right. And so you see, other other people, right? There's nobody here with a gun, right? No guns drawn, no military, right? It's just people complying. And who does the government get to do their bidding? They just get other people, right? It's not that they need soldiers here and they're going to... Uh, this ain't no chain gang, right? It's just other people being weaponized against other people to do the bidding of tyrants. This is how it's always been. When people look back and they were like... That's when we went in that video I talked about. When Kanye West was like, 400 years? And they were all of y'all? 400 years? Y'all made a choice. And then people were like, oh my God, how could you say that? You don't know what our ancestors went through, right? But that was the truth. There were all of y'all here. But it's the psychological aspect that, of course, he didn't take into consideration in his comment. He just looked at it. He was like, bro, there were that many of you here and only so few of them. Are you telling me that you couldn't band together and fight back and put them down and be free? 
He's like, y'all made a choice. They made a choice to be slaves. And that's what you see right here. I could have, we could even do that now, but we're giving the warning first. Have a chat with you because it's a big fine. We're all just doing the right thing, yeah? As he right. says here, right? He says, we're all just doing the right thing, right? Right? He's like, I'm not here to fight you. We're all just doing the right thing, right? It's just the right thing to do. This is how this is how he copes. Then people are like, how how do you sleep at night? This is how he sleeps at night, right here. We're all just doing the right thing. So if I gotta hold you in a cell, well, I call it. A, well, we'll just say it's a trailer. Hey, you're allowed to leave. What do you mean? You're not here. You're not a captive. You can if you want to go do laundry, you go do laundry. If you want to step out and you want to sit on your little chair, go right ahead. Nobody's stopping you. Just don't pass that line. Just don't pass that line right there. What was gonna happen if I passed the line? Well, you're gonna catch a fine. Right? You hear his language. He's like, you know what? I could have, I could have fined you. I could have fined you the first time. But he's like, you know what? It's a big fine. I'm just trying to do the right thing. I'm, I'm looking out for you. I could give you the fine right now. But, right? Just do the right thing. We're, we're, all, we're all here to do the right thing. It's for your safety. It's for my safety. Just do the right thing. And, of course, that verbiage gets utilized is to soften you down it's to wear you down psychologically so that you don't fight back like i said i'm not here to fight with you yeah i don't want to fight with you yeah i just want everybody to do the right thing and yeah. unfortunately it's my job <laughs> i just want everybody i just want everybody to do the right thing i do i don't care the ins and outs i've got nothing to do with me i'm just here to make sure the rules are here yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so what did that experience make you think like what what was your feeling about being in that situation with those people in control of your every movement? Oh, it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. You feel like you're in prison. You feel like you've done something wrong. It's inhumane what they're doing. Like, you, you are so small. You, They just now, there's another, overpower. There's another little clip. And this is why I want to show you that the medical community, the medical community is right along with what's going on. And just listen right here or run like I'm in this little box and I can't move. Can I please, I'm, you know, I'm anxious, I'm feeling not well, just I need to get out. And they literally said, we've got a doctor calling you and we'll get some Valium prescribed to you that you can call us anytime you like and you can have Valium. Just to calm you down. Yeah. Right, so you have the doctors, right? The doctors, the nurses, whatever position those other people are. I don't know if they're military, sub-military, if they're just, you know, average citizens that were like, here, we got a job for you to do, right? I'm going to give you a little favors. You're going to get to move around a little bit more than the average person. And this is where we are. Medical community compromised, right? The doctors that are writing the prescriptions for these people. Keep, keep them calm. Give them some value. I need something to calm me down. Psychologically, I can't take sitting in this box. And they're like, all right, we'll write your prescriptions for some value. And this is why I never, <laughs> I never trust the doctors. Even though I work as a nurse for ten years, I never trust the medical community because it's all compromised. It's all part of the, it's all part of the system. You have to take responsibility for your own health. You have to watch what you put in your body. You have to be careful how you treat your body. Be careful what you put in it. Exercise so that you don't have to be part of the system, right? You don't, you don't have to be part of the B system. But this is what this is what they voted for is primarily again, this was all for your safety had when when for people who really valued their freedom, the moment two weeks to slow the spread would have came around, they would have been out there guns drawn I mean, shut nothing down. Who the hell do you think you are that you're going to shut us down that you're going to force us to stay home? That's, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen over my dead body. That's how you'll that's how you'll you'll get us to shut down. But nobody did. Nobody did that. Right? Not in your beloved Texas, not in Florida. You Ron DeSantis, he shut it all down too. But this is where we're at. And this is Australia is a glimpse of the future for many for many of these nations. You're already seeing in places like in Austria and in Germany. Germany followed right along with Austria. They were like, we're shutting it all down. If you're unvaccinated, you're not allowed to leave your home. 
and eventually it'll be the vaccinated as well. They just the vaccinated are just sitting there like, ha ha. And until the German government says, you know what, y'all motherfuckers get in the box too. Get back to your pod. We'll bring you a bug sandwich later. And this is what they got planned for you. This is what they got planned for you. But a lot of people are just hoping somebody's gonna come in on a white horse and save the day. You have to be responsible for your own salvation you have to get with collective you have to get with like-minded individuals so that you can have enough people to collectively protect yourself because that's the only thing that's going to work that's the only thing that's going to work to push back against the tyranny that is coming your way or you have to be willing to leave the country leave where you were born leave behind your family leave behind your friends and try like the Jews did. You think the Jews wanted to leave Germany to come to America? How many of them do you thought? Like we're going to leave our home. We were born and raised. How many generations in Germany? They're like, we got to get out of here. Shit's about, to, shit's about to be bad. And we need to leave. And some didn't want to leave. And some had to leave with nothing but what they could carry. And some people, some people who were like, we're going to stand and fight, cowards. And they did. They stood and fought and they died. And the people who remained were the ones that were marched into the box carts and eventually into the ovens. And this is where we're at. And this is where we're at. Just people just don't want to believe it. People are like, we can't be. We're so modern. Like we're so far away from this. These people would never do such a thing. Do you think the Germans thought the same thing? Do you think, you know, Abraham that was living out in Germany thought that his next door neighbor Franz was going to be weaponized against him? It was like one morning he woke up and he was like, hey, how you doing, Franz? I'm, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. Hey, what's up, baby? Hey, hey, good morning. How's everybody? How's the family? And then you think the next morning he woke up and right, and Franz was knocking at the door, telling him, march your ass to the box cart. No, it didn't go that way. It was gradual. It was gradual. Gradual tyranny to see what people were willing to accept. And then eventually when shit went bad, they were just like, you know what? It's these people's fault right here. Is these people fought right here? Is these Jewish people over here? They spread disease, right? Just like I talked about yesterday. You even see freaking Jim Cramer on live TV just fucking losing his mind on TV talking about we let these people walk around lawfully spreading disease incubators? Hells no. How many people do you think he stirred up to be like, yeah, get these motherfuckers, force them, force them, get brawl in the military, inject them? This is where we're at. This is where we're at. The shit don't happen overnight. It takes time. It takes time for people to lose their humanity. And once they do, they're willing to commit acts of atrocity. Do you think that these people thought that this was going to happen? Do you imagine that this woman in 2019 thought she was going to find herself in an internment camp being held against her will? Of course not. She never thought of that until it came. And then she was like, how the fuck did I get here? This is where they're at. You think those 15, 16, and 17 year old boys ever thought they were going to be in a camp? They were like, maybe camp for you know, for the summer, right? Summer camp. I'm not in a determined camp where they had to fucking flee and climb the wall. Do you ever think that that came into their minds of those kids? And yet here we are. And yet here we are. You have to be willing to take personal responsibility for yourself. And that comes to your freedom as well. You have to be willing to fight for it. Because there are people out there that are willing to take it, especially if you're willing to give it up for nothing, for would-be safety. Like Benjamin Franklin said, that those who would give up their sa their liberty for safety would get neither. She didn't get it. This is all for your safety. You think she's going to get her freedom back? Of course not. Of course not. But this is where we are. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'll link the videos below. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is a crazy situation. Anyway, I'll leave it here. I'll catch you next time.